The 50 millimeter 1.4 Thapak Samara is a pretty dang good lens. I want to go over the reason that I'm pulling it out of a DZO film box right now, which you're probably wondering why. And the reason is, is because DZO Films is actually their mother company. And if you're wondering why Thopak is so good at making lenses already, it's because they've been doing it for a long time now. They have made fantastic cinema lenses. They didn't just start making lenses yesterday. And that's why they're so good coming out of the gate. And they are in competition with Voigtlander, and in my opinion, Leica lenses, period, because you cannot tell much of a difference within the optics, the sharpness, looking at images, unless you're pixel peeping, and you also know the fact that one is one and one is the other. So, with that being said, I want to hop into this review and talk to you about my thoughts on the 50mm 1.4 by Thypok. My favorite thing about this lens, hands down, is the actual weight. It weighs a measly 231 grams compared to the 335 grams of the Leica Sumilux. And that is a lot different whenever you're handling these things. Uh, so there is no front heaviness to my camera at all whenever I'm using this lens, and that is fantastic. I love the fact that it is small. It's the smallest lens of the Thypok Samara lineup right now. It's so light and I just love that about it. Number two, the tactility of it. I say tactility so much, but it really does get me excited whenever I'm shooting with something that feels good in the hands, it feels right. It feels like it's made very well. This lens, just like the other lenses, uh, has 14 aperture blades, which creates a perfect circle. And I've never seen anything with 14 aperture blades. And honestly, it kind of blows me away that this lens is as inexpensive as it is considering how well built it is and having all of those blades look really nice especially whenever you begin to stop down you don't see any kind of hexagon everything stays pretty circular the aperture clicks are fantastic and as always i have to give you a test sound asmr for photographers and it's great that you can also click off the aperture ring just like all the other ones And that is great for silent shooting or videographers that uh, that need to have that. And I'm actually going to throw on the 50 millimeter right now on my Sony so you can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like with the 50 millimeter Thopox Amera on the Sony a7 IV. I just wanted to show you a brief video of how that would turn out. And honestly, I think for any cinematographer that likes to do running gun things, this would be really nice to have because it is so small, especially if you're using something with manual focus. This is great. Uh, this is going to be a good option for you. The minimal focusing distance of this lens is actually a lot closer than most M mount lenses. It's actually 1.5 feet or 0.45 meters, uh, which is very close. Usually they're around 0.7 meters and uh, around two feet. So that in itself is pretty extraordinary. You obviously have to use live view whenever you're getting that minimal focus and distance if you're using a rangefinder because your rangefinder can only go so far. Isn't a big deal, but it is nice to have that option if you're looking for something that you can get close to. Uh, so it's really nice to have that. And you could obviously crop in with other lenses, yes, but it's not gonna give you that same look because you can tell that the actual lens camera is closer to the subject that you're photographing versus cropping in uh, using another lens. So that's really nice to have. And I think videographers will like that as well because it is very handy to have something that can get so close. I do not have a sponsor today, but if you would like to support the channel, I edited all of these with my M10 presets that you can find in the link below. Uh, I really hope you enjoy these presets. I really like Strawsage, which is, there's a funny story behind that, but that's my favorite one. It's got a film-esque look to it, but also some of the other ones I would use like McLean. Uh, and then you also have like OD++, which is adding two stops of light to it, just in case you're in a darker scenario. And then OD is a great one too. There's several good ones. Uh, have fun with them if you do purchase them. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. I own the 28 millimeter myself. I tried out the 35 millimeter. Thank you Thypot for sending that and sending this lens for me to try out. But unfortunately I have to send this lens back 
because it is just a demo. And anything that I say in this video may or may not be true whenever you get the production version of it. Saying that, there is a little bit of chromatic aberration that I've noticed within this lens. Although they went to various feats in order to cut down on that, there's still a little bit of purple fringing here and there, but you do have to really work hard to get that purple fringing. So if that's something that you're really worried about, it's very easily fixed in post if you just push up to 10%. Uh, you don't have to worry about it after that, but it is there if it's something that's gonna bother you. One weird thing is that it actually moves the element in and out which is a little strange. So I'm wondering if there will get dust or anything in there. I'm not sure, but all you gotta do is put a filter on the end and it'll take care of that problem. Of course you have the dancing dots as I like to call it, uh, taken from classic lenses uh, from the past. The depth of field meter is a lot easier to read in my opinion on these lenses than a typical lens. I'm not sure if that's just because I'm dyslexic or something, uh, but it does help me figure out what my depth of field is very quickly without having to read numbers. One thing that has changed that people are gonna start picking this lens up for uh, is because they got rid of the infinity lock. Something that people complained about with the last two lenses and Thypoc is so quick to listen to their customers that they went and not only changed the infinity lock, it's gone, they put a normal focusing tab on this lens because people asked for it. And they also changed the fact that they they did match the end cap of the actual lens so it's not silver on black it's black on black so it actually matches the lens the fact that thypoc is listening to their customers they're so quick to act about it is telling me that they're going to be a great company moving forward because they actually listen to us the people who buy their lenses and use them religiously this is what a company should be and thypoc is killing it we've asked fujifilm to do things we've asked Leica to do things sony Nobody listens. Well, here we have Thypoc, a third-party lens manufacturer, doing everything that we're asking, and it's amazing. So they've fixed all the problems, and I feel like moving forward, they're gonna continue to do the same thing. And it just looks really, really good on Thypoc. So shout out to Thypoc for listening to the people who support you. So in my opinion, the 50 millimeter 1.4 is a great alternative to all Leica lenses. Honestly, a 50 millimeter at 1.4 is pretty standard. You can get the Sumilux, you can get a TT Artisans, a 7 Artisans. There's so many different lenses. Voigtlander, of course, but this one is great. And honestly, I don't think you would be able to tell a lot of a difference between this and a Sumilux lens. And really, your photography is not going to be better if you buy a more expensive lens that's just the way it is if you're not good right now with the lens that you have you're probably not going to be good with something that's 10 times more expensive and that's just life so i would definitely recommend if you're starting out on your leica journey and you don't want to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars i would look into something like the thypoc i love these lenses they're great and thypoc really knows what they're doing thank you so much for making awesome lenses thanks for sending this out for me to loan for a little while uh, so I can make this video. And until next time, peace.